part three of getting a new printer and we are opening Epson iPrint. You need to change your location look next. Printer is not selected. Okay. So basically this is what it will be. And then print photos, print documents, print print. Right, so we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to. Uh, we're going. Yeah, no, I'm alright, thanks, Tom. We're going to have to uh, use the uh, print documents or pictures. Uh, finally, we can print pictures on this thing. Uh, I'll show you how to use that knife print back on the table. Right, so we will select printer. We need to connect the printer to the internet. Alexa! Uh, yeah, that'll do. 21 all, oh, oh, that's a series. Use Epson Smart Panel. We need to install that for the new ones. <sighs> I hate Epson. We have to install Epson Smart Panel. The only good thing about Epson is the, the ink's dead cheap. Some some printers you, you, you have to buy. Oh, thousand pound ink. They're like 30 quid for an ink cartridge. That's or stupid. I'm just, come on. Find the printer that you just had. Epson 2100 series. Click it, you have to highlight it. I am. I'm, I'm yeah. Keep using Epson iPhone because yeah. the only like thing. <laughs> there we are. Maintenance. If it has full ink and everything, here we are. If it has full ink, it's good. If we have, yeah, it's full ink. That's it. Add clean. You can literally do like a nozzle check and everything on the app now. That's good. You don't have to take the take the finger part. That's brilliant. And it tells you on the phone. Are you going to download it on your phone? What's it called? Epson. Epson iPrint. I think I might. Oh no, yeah, I haven't got it. No, look what you can do though. Install it on my phone for me. Wait, look, full ink. Uh, you can head cleaning, nozzle check, room update. All on the app. I'll download it after the video. Right. So yeah, we're going to just. I'm going to take a photo. Of camera. Off the garden. Right guys, so I've got a picture of the garden going to print it out as an example. But I don't want my garden on the internet. Okay. Right guys, so we have got camera number five six and we have got that. I'm going to click select. Next. There we are. And then you basically get a picture of your gallery, or take a picture, whichever, and you click the print button at the bottom. And it says printing. Processing images. And it's printing 30%. <laughs> and as you can see, the printer then prints. And the picture should come out. Yeah, you have the cut Yeah, it's taking a long time. We are on seventy percent now. I should see it Maybe open that. Because you have to put the computer back here now. I'm just going to pause the video until it's printed. You can't say we got a picture of the garden, but you can't say we didn't. Go on, Dad. You can't say we 
Oh. So what's wrong with it? Because it's yeah, orange it's shade paper, of red. Oh, pink, yeah. Why is it in a shade of pink? Well, look, if you look closely, you can see it's the garden. Mm. This is the original picture. You can instantly see a little bit of a match. Well, thanks for watching Getting a New Printer Part 3. And with that, I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Like and subscribe and watch all my videos because we're already at 1,000 views and I want to get to 2,000 views this year. Thank you.